Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. So now, have you been reviewing so far? If you have been already reviewing, that's good. Because you know what we're going to do today. We're going to take the test. But before that, to help yourself get started, let's review one of the logs. First, let's review the properties of logs. We have the product law. Like, for example, we have log of A plus log of B. If you were to do this, it will be equivalent to the log. One, If you were to write it as one log, diba ba expand na yan kapag nakita mo yung plus or minus? Pero, if you're going to simplify that, that would be log of A times B. Diba? Multiplication dahil addition. And then, what you call this? Like, for example, if we have log of 10 times 1,000, diba normally the, of 100, that's supposed to be 1,000, diba? And log of 1,000 is supposed to be 3. If you are to apply the expansion of logs, yun nga, log of 10 plus log of 100. That's supposed to be, ano yun? That's supposed to be 2. Diba, this becomes 1. This becomes 2. So, therefore, you're supposed to get 3 as the answer. Okay? Next, the quotient law. For the quotient law, we have log of A minus log of B is equivalent to log of A divided by B. For example, the remember we have log of 10,000 divided by 100. Doing that so, the 1,000 divided by 100 is 100. And log base 10 of 100 is just 2. Diba? Yan, you get that answer, diba? Or, you can do it the property way, you can do it like this. Log base 10 of 10,000, that's ano yun? That's 4. Diba? And then the log base 10 of 100, that's ano yun? That's 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. Same pa rin. Next, power law. Kung my power law, let's say for example, log of A raised to the B power is equivalent to, remember the B slides down, it's, the B slides down from its exponent to its, ano yun, to its part here, and that becomes B times the log of A. For example, we have log of 100 raised to the cube. So log of, I don't need fun. Yeah, yeah, I just read Log of 100 cubed, and that is ano yun? Do I remember the 3 slides down, make it 3 times the log of 100. Log of 100 is 2. And just multiply the numbers, and you get 6. Or, you can do it, write it in an expanded form, like log of 100 cubed, which is 100 times 100 times 100, to give you log base 10 of 1 million, which gives you 6. Diba? Or, you can do also do it this way. You can also simplify the log by doing it this way. Let's say, for example, you bring the 3 down, you let it slide, and then you log base 100, it can be the same as 10 squared. And then log base 10, log 10 squared, by remember yung 2, I nag slide. And then log, and then it becomes 2 times 3, times log base 10 of 10. Log base 10 of 10 is just 1. And 2 times 3 gives you 6. So you know, that's the review of our logs. Now, here are the problems that I made today. And all you have to do is to solve for each of the logs. The instruction is either to expand it or to condense it. When we say expand, it means I mean to write the, the logarithmic, translate the exponential equation in simplified form into its expanded form. Pero, if you're doing simplifying logs, if the log is expanded, you're going to shrink it. Now let's work each one one by one. And I have a series of 10 problems and as farther we go, the more it gets harder. Let's do this. Number one, we have log base 2 of 80 of 8 times 16 times 14 times 64. Remember what is our goal here. Our goal in this particular situation is to expand. Very good. Because this one is only written as one log. So therefore, our goal is to expand. So we're going to have to expand the log. So number one, we have log base 2 of 8 times 16 times 64. Diba? Now we have to write this logarithmic equation, logarithm, in expanded form. How do you write it in expanded form? Madali lang yan. Madali lang talaga to, diba? So remember, the, so remember, we have this, log base 2 of 8, 16, and 14. So expanding it will give you log, remember, copy the base, Copy the log and the base that you use. Log base 2. And since they're all being multiplied and they're all factors, we can apply that. The product law. Very good. 
So product, log base 2 of 8 plus log base 2 of 16 plus log base 2 of 64. Now can we simplify? Yes, we can simplify. And then we add. Log base 2 of 8 is 3. Log base 2 of 16 is 4. Log base 2 of 64 is 6. Because 64, you can shrink that to 8 cubed. And 8 cubed, do I remember yung ito yung 64, di ba? Nakita mo to? 64 yan. So yung 64, ay pwede maging 8 cubed. So doing it here, 64 is the same as 8 cubed. And remember applying power law, we have log base 2 of 8 cubed. Nama? The 3 slides down, which gives you 3 times log base 2 of 8. Did you know that? I mean, that's that's 4 cubed pala, not 8 cubed. 4 cubed. The 3 slides down, so that's log base 2 of 4 cubed. And log base 2 of 4. Diba? That's supposed to be 4. And then, do it. let's write it again. 3 times the log base 2 of 4. Log base 2 of 4 is just 2. And 3 times 2 equals 6. So, tama. You get the same answer. See, that's how applying pure product, proper, product property really works and your power loss to give you the answer. And therefore, what's the answer number 1 in simplified form? The answer is 13. That is the final answer. Next, number 2. So, number 2, what is the problem? The problem here is log base 6 of 1,296 minus log base 6 of 216 minus log base 6 of W plus log base 6 of 6. Did you know that's already a neon quotient law, diba? So now let's write this in. Diba? That's in expanded form. So how do you write that? We're going to write that in simplified form. Very good. Kasi nga diba remember, ay yung pala, I forgot. That's supposed to be plus pala. O sige, minus lang, di ba na yun ako ano yung meron? Yan, so therefore, this is quotient law. So when we're doing quotient law, you know already what's the formula, di ba? You have log base, log of A, minus log of B, and then whatever is the minus, that goes in the denominator. Okay? So we have minus log of B, so the B goes in the denominator. So now let's write let's write this in expanded form. You write it in expanded form. Do you remember this is number two? Log base six of one thousand two hundred ninety six minus log base six of two hundred sixteen minus log base six of W plus log base six of six. Diba? That's in expanded form. So to write that in simplified form, we have to write that as one single log. So, only one log na lang. And then, naka parenthesis. Di ba nakita mo may quotient dyan? So, alin yung naka positive that goes in the numerator? So, what's in the numerator? 1,296. Is it positive or negative? Positive. So, kung positive, nasa taas. So, we have 1,296. Log base 6 of 216. Nasaan siya? Taas sa baba? Baba. So, therefore, di ba nakita mo siya may negative? May negative dito. So, therefore, ibig sabihin, baba. Next, log base 6 of W. Ang, ang W naman ay nasa, di ba, nakita mo to? Minus. So, therefore, it's supposed to be downstairs. Baba. Tsaka, di ba, remember, sabi ko sa'yo, sometimes, whenever you see negative, negative, tapos nakita mo dito, you know, even though there's already positive, nasa taas pa yan. Kasi nga, di ba, log base 6 of 6, that's in the top. So, therefore, Nasa taas siya. Okay? You thought kasi dapat yung 6 ay nasa baba eh. Pero yun pala dapat ang 6 ay nasa taas. Okay? Because it's positive. Because remember, you, I thought kasi dapat kapag negative na yung una, then everything else becomes negative. No, don't do that. Unless lang talaga you have to distribute. Pero in general, kapag the preceding log is a minus, always remember it's negative. Take the negative with you. Pero if it's a positive, it's always upstairs. Don't think that talaga kung nakita mo yung negative dito, tapos dito yung positive, ito negative. It's always positive. So, yeah. Now, we can simplify. So, we can simplify whatever we can simplify here. Like, we can simplify 6 and 216. Because 6 divided by 216, the 6 becomes 1. 
and therefore the 216 becomes the way member it's 6 divided by 216 doing on a separate sheet of paper we divide both sides by 6 we should get 36 because 36 times 6 gives you 216 so it becomes 1 over 36 so simplifying that further we should get log base 6 of 1,296 over divide member yung 6 at 216 naka simplify. So divide by 36. Diba? Now it's 36 double U. Can we simplify that further? Pwede naman. Let's see if we can divide both sides by 36. But I think we can. You know why? Kasi nga 1,296 divide by 36. Diba? Let's say for example, kukunin mo yung calculator mo. So this becomes 3. 108. 6. 1, 2. Of course, halatang 6 yan. So tama, 36. So therefore, dividing both sides by 36, that's, a go that's supposed to be 6. Diba? That's supposed to be 36. 1,296 divided by 36 becomes 36. And 36 divided by 36 is just 1. So therefore, our final answer is, ito yung final answer namin. Log base 6 of 1 over 6, it, it becomes, ano yun? Di ba yung member ito yung 1,296, di ba? Divide by 36. Divide by 36, you should get 1. This becomes 36. So therefore, this becomes log base 36 over W. Okay? And that's already been written in simplified form. Log base 36 of the, divide by W. And did you know you can also simplify that if you were to expand this, Pwede ba you can also do, you can also do it like this. Log base 6 of 36 minus log base 6 of W. The log base 6 of 36 simplifies to 2. So it's 2 minus the log base 6 of W. That's how you can also simplify the equation. Like this. So therefore, simplified equation is 2 minus log base 6 of W. You know yung sagot. Okay? Next, number Next, let's go to number 3. So, we're already done with the first two numbers. Let me put a check on that. Kung ano yun mga tinapos na. So, number 1, natapos na. Check. Number 2, dinapos na tayo, tayo dyan. Check. So, now we're gonna do number 3. For number 3, our problem is 3 times the log base 4 of 64 plus 2 times the log base 4 of 256. Ano yung goal namin dito? Ang goal namin dito ay i-condense. Di ba yung nakita mong dalawang log base 4? So therefore, from expanding the log, we're gonna condense it. We can we can do this problem in many different ways. But let me show you one way na lang para ma ma mas mabilis. Okay? So we are asked to condense it. So therefore, number 3, we have 3 log base 4 of 64 plus 2 times log base 4 of 256. Ma. Now, if you are to, if you are to, because this this log is with an expanded form, in order for us to condense it, we need to bring the exponent back up to to place to where it belongs. But first, I think we can simplify more the numbers for mass release. Pero what you will see if you were to do the normal way, ito yung gawin mo. So therefore, the three it goes upstairs. So therefore, we have log base four of 64 raised to the cube. Plus 2 times log base 4, I mean log base 4 of 256 squared. Tama. So that but this should be your answer. Nakita mo to, di ba? Next, ang kailan mo gagawin, you can also simplify the exponents. Pero I think you don't have to because this may yield a very large number. Pero, di ba remember sabi ko you can write it as one single log. One single log. So therefore it's going to be log base 4 of... Ano yun? Di ba yung member naka-plus siya? So, kung naka-plus, what's the law? Power law. Very good. Naka-power. Naka Naka-add naka yan. So, this implies addition. So, yung watch all this part, mas madali. I'll make it subtraction na lang. Subtraction na lang. So, maybe minus na lang. So, I think I'll make this subtraction na lang. Kasi nga, kung plus, addition. So, let's make it subtraction na lang. So, minus 2 times the log base 4 of 2. So, that is so that is subtraction. 
So that becomes minus, minus log base 4. And therefore, what's the answer? The answer that we have here is, do you remember the, where do we put the 64 cube? Ang 64 cube ay nasa taas. Di ba? Nasa na yung 256 squared. Ang 256 squared ay nasa baba. Baba. Okay. Now, if you don't want to work with, if you don't want to use a calculator to solve for everything, they say it would be much more easier if you are to simplify the numbers. So let's try to simplify the numbers here. So we have log base 4 of 64 times 64 times 64. Diba? Sa baba, we have 256 plus 256. Diba? Did you know we can also part all the 64s and, and break them down into, into smaller numbers? Like we can do 64 can be written as a, be written as a notation of 4 cube. Diba? So therefore, we can rewrite that by having log base 4 of 4 cube times 4 cube times 4 cube. And you 256, that's equivalent to 4 raised to the 4th power times 4 raised to the 4th power. Tama? Then, we can now utilize our laws of exponents to help us simplify this further. So therefore, do you remember yung, yung 4 raised to the cube? We can also rewrite this in expanded form. Diba? So we can also add the exponents. So adding the exponents, remember your bases are identical, diba? And when your bases are identical, and then and then you have different exponents or either the same, if you have the same base, what do you do? You add the exponents. So now we can add the exponents. So you have log base 4 of, diba? 3 plus 3 plus 3, that's 4 raised to the ninth power, diba? Sa baba naman, we have 4 raised to the 8th power. Because 4 plus 4 is 8. Now, we have a simplified division bar. What do we do now? We can now subtract. Very good. Because remember, quotient law, if you have the same base, but you have different exponents, you can just subtract. So 9 minus 8 is 1. So therefore, or if you were to write it in expanded form, you will have 9 fourths on the top and 8 fourths on the bottom. And if I were to write this here, ganito siya. So the boy remember this is what will happen. You have log base 4, ito yung numerator. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nag-expanded form na yan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The 4s here cancel. Diba? Mawala na silang lahat yung mga 4s. Pero ilan talaga yung matitira? Isa lang. So therefore, it's just log base 4. A 4, which simplifies to 1. So therefore, the answer is 1. So therefore, number 3, the simplified way to how, on how to write the logarithm is 1. That is the final answer you're going to get after subtracting the log. Okay? So this implies the application of laws of exponents that you've done. Yun lang. For the fourth problem, we have ln. Remember what does ln stand for? LN stands for the, ano yun? LN stands for the natural log. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna take the, the natural log. So natural log of Sami squared U cube. Ano? Ah, yeah, don't trust everything what you read here. Because you would remember, I just put this to make it even more interactive. Pero, did you know that Sami is the name my cousin? So shout out to Samuel who's watching this right now. Hi, Lucky! Shout out to Sammy! Sammy, hello! This your Ayarafi! Abby, kahit na tomboy ka, Ayarafi loves you, he misses you, and right now, he's so busy teaching math. Pero, if you're busy right there, right there, right there, wherever you are, mag-focus ka na sa pag-aaral. Shout out to you, kids! Miss you! Bye-bye! Anyway, so we have LN of Sammy squared and U of cube. Now, Diba? This log is written in simplified form. So, ang gawin na namin ay expand. Now, how can we translate this simplified form into its expanded form? Remember what we have to do? Look, they're all in quotient. Diba? They're all, diba you see Sami in the numerator? Tapos yung U ay nasa denominator. So, what we do for this particular situation? We need to expand this, so we need to write several LNs. So let's, so let's get back, okay? So therefore, remember, kung alin yung nasa taas, 
it's always plus. Kualinya nasa baba, that's always minus. If you see a series of combinations like this, always remember, kung alin yung nasa taas, that is always being added when you expand the logarithm. Kung nasa baba, if it's downstairs, it implies subtraction. Diba? Pero be very careful because in one of those letters that I put there, it's being raised to that certified exponent. You, baka malay mo, to some students, they will rather get this mistaken. Because inisip nila, Huy, sa SAMI squared? Hindi ah, it's only the i that's being squared. Like for instance, remember in most like in algebra, you see something like this. You have, ano yun? 2x squared. The 2x squared, the, the squared is, being, is referring to x. This one lang. So it's 2 times x times x. Unless it were something like this, 2x naka parenthesis squared, ibig sabihin, the exponent is being distributed. So 2 squared times x squared. There's a major difference between the two. But in this particular situation, ang sami squared, ay, ay, yung, ay yung salita na sami, you see my cousin is not inside the parenthesis. So if my cousin were inside the parenthesis, therefore the exponent of squared is being distributed. Pero, since my cousin sami is not being, is not inside the parenthesis, it's only the last letter that is being raised by an exponent of 2. Now, going back to rewriting the exponential equation, the logarithmic equation in expanded form. So, we write it this way. So, ang gagawin na namin ay ito. So, you have ln, copy the log in the base that you use. But since it's ln, we're using the natural log. So, therefore, we're doing, di ba remember, ano yung nakita mo dito? So, yung s ay nasa taas. So, therefore, plus ln of s, ln, what about the a? Spell your name, Sammy. S-A-M-I. Very good. Good job, Sammy. So, therefore, L-A, A is in the numerator. Plus, what about the letter M? Nasa numerator din. Diba? Ln of N, M. M as in motor or Mario. One of my favorite games. And I, yes, ln of I squared. Pero remember, I told you there's something we're gonna do later on, which I will explain. Now we're done with the numerator. Paano na answer yun nasa denominator? Kung nasa denominator, pwede maroon ganito. You can put minus so that it's automatically minus. So log of ano yun? Log ln pala of y plus... Kasi nga, diba, remember, this is, my, this is minus. Pero, if you're doing plus, you can do ln. If you're doing plus, you can do it this way. U squared. U cubed, diba? Pero, ganito kasi yun. Diba, remember, you might be asking me kung bakit ano to. Why dapat yung minus, you have to make everything minus na. Pero, this cannot be done unless you see parentheses. Ganito kasi yun. Now, let's rewrite this again. Wait, I forgot. Remember when we expand the logs, we can let the exponent slide. So we're writing this, remember, copy whatever is given. ln of s, ln of a, ln of m, what about the ln of i squared? The i, the square, is being dropped down. So it's 2 times ln of i. Then, we have the distribute. So we have to write minus ln of y plus, diba yung 3 ay nang dito, diba? So it slides down to make it 3 times the ln of u. Bear wait, we're still not yet done. Remember, we still have that negative in the way. Kasi nga, diba, remember, that's in the denominator. And because if you are going to write this in expanded form, kung alin yun nasa denominator, it's automatically negative. If you are to do the direct to the point method, you can already write minus ln of y minus ln of u. Pero, for the sake of some people, they just get baffled or unless lang talaga, ang teacher ay magsasabi mo, now what you goal this, and kung nasa denominator, ibig sabihin, minus 8 and put parenthesis, ang gawin mo lang, i-distribute mo yung negative. So, you see this negative here, you're going to distribute that to all the numbers. So, rewriting this, you get ln of s plus ln of a plus ln of m plus 2 times ln of i. Tapos, yung negative, i-distribute mo. So, therefore, negative minus ln of y, that's, we have to distribute the negative, making it L minus ln of y, and then minus 3 ln of u, because the negative is being distributed. And that is your final answer. 
Actually, to be honest, kung pwede i-direct mo, pwede pa, and you can already, di ba yung member ko nasa denominator, L and of Y, kasi nga nasa baba siya, na automatic minus na yan. At siya yung U, cube, that is minus, that's in the denominator, so minus pa rin yun. And then, if you are to simplify the log, of course, you can write L, N, S, A, M, I, and then yung 2 ay nasa taas sa I, di ba? And then yung minus, L, N, Y, U, nasa baba. So, if you are to simplify that to the log, di ba, yung 2 ay pinadala sa taas. So, therefore, it goes like this. Ln of S, A, M, I, tapos yung square, di ba? And then yung U, Y, nasa baba. So, therefore, Y is down. U is also down. The 3 also goes here. Or you can also put negative 3. Para what you always, U will be raised to the negative 3. Pero, if you don't want to take the negative with you, you can just do it, leave it this way. And then, yun nga. Make it negative, you can put, ano yun? Put, make sure that it's in the denominator. So, yun. Gets? So, yan. So, that's how we do the first four. Next, let's go to number five. In number five, our problem is this. We have log base nine of the quantity of x minus two minus, minus log base nine of x minus five plus Log base 5 of log base 9 of 27. So our main goal here is to condense it or write it as one single log. Pero there's a plot twist. Kasi nga in, in, the, in the arguments, we already have plus or minus. So if you see something like that, for the sake of some students, they easily get baffled whenever they see something like this. They will say, Sir, paano na yan? Yung, ano yun, yung log na yun? Meron siyang constant tapos my ano yun, my 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 letter pa my variable pa don't worry ang principle is still the same first let's you write that as in simplified form so remember this is diba you see minus so therefore quotient law so let's write this here so writing this here you have log base 9 so yeah log base 9 of What's in the parentheses? Kuali nyo nasa numerator, yun yun nasa taas. X minus 2 is upstairs. So, X minus 2 is upstairs. Tapos, X minus 5 ay nasa baba. Diba? X minus 5 ay nasa baba. Diba? Pair plus 5 times log base 9 of 27. Of course, power law. The 5 is being distributed, and then log base 9 of 27, that is being raised to the 5th power. Of course, you can also simply, you can also do it this way. If I remember, ganito yun. Then you can just add. You can simplify whatever is done here first, and then you can still add. You can also add the 5 times log base 9 of 27 raised to the 5th power. Tama. And then, do I remember, if you're going to put this here, that's product law. So, therefore, 27 being raised to the fifth power is, ano yun? Is, ano yun? It's, the, it's a very big number. Pero, we can still simplify this log by, by rewriting it, log base 9 of 27. Leaving the exponent there, we can still simplify that. Nama. We can, or we can just do do it this way. Set aside the 5, and then work on the log base 9 of 27. Para hindi ka mahirapan. And then whatever answer we get here, we multiply it at the last second. So remember, you know already the properties of translating logarithmic equations to exponential equations, di ba? Because, di ba, this is your base. This is the answer that you get in exponential equation. And we need to get the answer in exponent. So therefore, we're writing this, we get 9 raised to the what power gives you 27. Tama? Then we do the one to base property. Can you think of a base between the two numbers that are equivalent, that have the same base, that are identical? Yes, and that's the number three. Because three squared is nine. So three raised to the two x power. And then 27 is three cubed. Now when your base are all identical, it becomes something like this. Divide both sides by two, hence x is equivalent to three halves. So that is our answer. But wait. We are talking about how to simplify this log. So therefore, log base 9 of 27 can be written as 5 times 3 halves. Diba? 
5 times 3 halves. Diba? And 5 times 3 halves is, ano yun? That's supposed to be 5 times 3 which gives you 15. And 15 divided by 2 is 7 and 1 halves. Or which we can simplify to 7.5. So therefore, ang 7.5 ay nasa ay ito. So therefore, that's the answer. So plus 7.5. So, therefore, that's the value of the exponent. The value of the exponent is 7.5. So, therefore, our final answer is got to be log base 9 of the quantity of x minus 2 divided by x minus 5. Is, and then add it with 7. Point, and then add 7.5. Diba? So that's what we're going to do. So we take the log base 9 of this uh, of this item. Then whatever answer we get, we add it with 7.5. Because 7.5 is the value of the exponent. Diba? Or let's say if I were to get my calculator, let's see if we will still get 7.5 as the answer. But actually, you don't have to because I've already shown you the solution sheet here. Diba? So I thought that the solution that we should have That's supposed to be the right answer. Log base 9 of x minus 2 divided by x minus 5 plus 7.5. That's supposed to be the right answer. Yun lang. 